Now, the upgraded terminal is just the latest addition to a long history of Portland air travel. It all started with the original airport on Swan Island from 1927 to 1940. Now, Charles Lindbergh, fresh off a cross-Atlantic Ocean flight, flew in to officially open it. Then the city grew, so Portland purchased a large piece of land along the Columbia River in 1936 and got to work. Massive th three or four million cubic yards of, you know, stuff to fill in the river there to, uh, to make the airport. To stabilize. To stabilize. About half of the three million dollars it cost to fill land and build the new airport came from FDR's Works Project Administration. It was complete by 1940 and known as the Portland Columbia Airport. It didn't become Portland International until more than a decade later in 1951. And then eight years after that, the original terminal was replaced by a new one set between two long parallel runways. Inside this modern edifice, the main passenger lobby is the very picture of spaciousness. From here where we are to the far wall at the end of the lobby is a distance of some 500 feet, nearly two city blocks. In the years since, the airport's seen a new FAA uh, control tower, parking garage, and glass canopy. The beloved PDX carpet has captured the attention of travelers since 1988. It was mostly replaced in 2015, but it's back in the new terminal, and a piece of it remains in the Oregon Historical Society Museum.